tell you who the top recruiter in the country is. And all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you're not subscribed to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step mill. So in 2015, Tom Herman called up Paul Wall and said, make me a grill. Because it was important to him to keep his word to the kids he recruited at Houston. Stay with me, I know Tom Herman, but stay with me for just a second. In 2016, Herman and two members of his staff famously parodied Office Space, where they beat the holy hell out of a fax machine. Just took a Louisville slugger to it following National Signing Day. These were antics. They were foolish and amusing to be sure, but it sells recruits and that's the point. So I first learned Tom Herman's name in earnest in 2014. Herman was the offensive coordinator at Ohio State during a year when they won the whole darn thing. I learned shortly afterward that there were no obstacles Herman would not traverse to land a recruit. Herman was on a recruiting trip to Georgia. His trip came during a rare snow and ice storm in a part of the country that's better known for heat so oppressive it belongs in Soviet era Russia. But ice and snow and freezing temperatures happens in Georgia as often as Texas wins a national title. Seldom, but when it does, they'll be the first to let you know. Herman took to the Twitters to document being stranded on a highway from Marietta to Atlanta. Took Herman 17 hours to travel 50 miles. In 10 of those hours, he traveled a mere one and and a half miles, which is brutal, but it's also what it takes to be a great recruiter and to win at the big boy level of college football. And we only know or care about Herman and his story because he was a coordinator at a blue blood school. Small college and JUCO coaches do that all the time, in addition to making over 100 calls or texts every night, trying to sway a kid from Tulsa, Oklahoma, to venture to Independence, Kansas, to play in a conference most folks have never heard of, in a part of the world you are more liable to get lost trying to find than actually arrive at. This means great recruiters are natural born door-to-door -door salesmen. They're used to knocking on doors, laying their best spiel down while wiping their feet on the doormat and hearing no, not right now, or I flipped my commitment. Doesn't stop them from trying later. Doesn't stop them from moseying on to the next door to do it all over again. They know that the game is the game and they know they're only here to play it. So when I take a look at the 24 seven composite recruiter ranking, I see everyone from Brent Venables to Des Kitchens to Oklahoma's Kale Gundy at the top of this list. I marvel at the number of prep stars they've convinced to publicly announce they've committed to play ball at whatever school these coaches are selling. And I marvel at how many times they've certainly been stuck on the road, stranded at an airport, performed a stunt like beating a helpless fax machine to death, and still not walking away with the prize. I marvel at how many doors they're willing to knock on and their willingness to keep knocking. Kale Gundy is one of the top recruiters in the country, and boy the stories he could tell you about knocking on some doors. That's it for me. Deuces. <laughs>